guys welcome to the channel if you're new to the channel remember to hit like and subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll see more videos that I post you'll get a notification when a new one's out um, remember Thursday hit me up on Facebook uh, it's Facebook page you can search it by at Radan sales and uh, we do a live on Thursdays at 12 p.m. Eastern okay but let's get stuck into it so our last video we did Radan designer we looked at the interface we looked at some stuff there and then uh, one after that was Radan designer video number two where we open 3D files and prep them for sheet metal and unfolding, ready to go to nesting, right? So this time we're going to concentrate on Radan Designer and creating a sheet metal part using some sketching and wireframe of Designer and Designer itself. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, and for those who don't know, my name is Dean Fowl, and I work with Hexagon, and I help manufacturers with software solutions, right? So let's get this started. I'm here in Designer. I've got a new drawing and um, a blank slate, and I want to create a sheet metal pan. So I'm just going to come in here, and when I create it, I start off with, well, how am I going to create it? What view do I want to start with? <coughs> so I'm going to start with the um, top view. I'm going to draw the top of my pan, right? So I jump over in the designer tab. I come over here and we can create a profile. We can create a rectangle. I'm going to create a rectangle. So we'll click that guy. Um, you can select two points, select a position, um, a corner, or you can work it from the center, right? Uh, you can do a radius on the corners, a chamfer, but I'm just going to do um, none for this option here at the moment. So let's go ahead. I'm going to click on this guy. I'm going to move my mouse key out just a little bit so I can see it. So I'm going to go 24 inches on my pan. And for those of you who are using metric, go ahead, use metric if you've got design already. Um, but if you don't, you know, and you're just looking, this is, I'm in the US, so I use inches. So I go 24 inches, and then I just hit over here, 24, 24, right so to get out of this right you can either cancel the action here or I simply right click on the screen and close it um, and it's done here is the top of my sheet metal pan I can come over to annotations I just want to put um, a dimension in here just for reference purposes only for me right so here and then I'll jump over into isometric view so there's my pan or should I say there's my geometry that I want to use to create my pan so if I jump back into sheet metal there's some functionalities in here that allow us to create sheet metal parts right one of these is create a part so you select the wireframe elements to create a metal part so let's go click on create part select and I've got my thickness, 0.075, I'll leave it there. Um, I'm using the steel, a K factor where I've put in my value, but you can also use setbacks, DIN corrections, V width, if you wanted to use a V width of your bottom die, and you get to choose the millimeters for the bottom V width of your die or inches, right? So we've got there, we're good to go. Right click on the screen, and there's my sheet metal part. I've got my little handy box here to say default, what my material is, um, and the thickness. Right, so you can rotate this guy around. There's your sheet metal part. So that, that's my square. Right, 
But I want to add flanges, right? So I'm going to set that back into isometric view. And I'm going to add a flange. So all you got to do is select, hit that. There's our first flange. You can change the dimensions how you want to do it. You can change the dimensions here, or you could just simply drag, right? Uh, radan and that, and hexagon and that. We support a lot of drag and drop functionality. Um, so, but that's good. So I'm good right there with everything there. So I'm just uh, going to right click and be okay. But first, before we go anywhere from here, let's take a look at this, right? So here's our measurement e menu. So we can change different things here, right? And you can change thicknesses and um, or reverse side of it. So I'm going to hit right click on there. We're good. I'm going to hit that flange there. I'm going to hit this edge here, I should say. Whoops. I, I cancelled that. So add flange. Click. Right. Click. Right. Right. Done. So if I rotate this around, I've got my sheet metal pan. We can do other stuff in here. We can add different flanges. But this is good for me. Okay. We're just keeping things simple in this video for now. So here I can toggle that view. And unfold it and then fold it back up. You can edit the bend radius. So if I wanted to, I can select the bend radius and change that. All right. So that's one way to create a pan. I will save this out, save as, and we will go, we will just call it pan2. All right, so now I'm gonna go out of here and create a new drawing. <coughs> so there's another way to do it as well. So maybe I just come in here and uh, I'm going to select right view. In this right view, I'm going to come into wireframe. I'm going to create line segments and you can do construction lines. I'm actually going to do a line in this point. So do a line. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to go 0.50, 2.5, 0.5, 0.5. Two point oh, and then eight point five oh. All right. So there we have a sketch. I'm going to set it back into um, set orthographic view here, so I can see it. So now I can come in here and go over to. Oops. Let me move that back. I can come over here to my sheet metal, and then I can create a part. Okay, you can select a segment or region for a new part. I'm actually just going to drag a window here. And there we go. I can change this however I want to do it. Right. And we can change different settings here. I'm just going to right click. Get out of there. And then we've got another pan here. Right. So couple of different ways to uh, make a sheet metal pan. Unfold, good to go. You can do a lot more with this. Adding holes, you can create a whole new um, file. So that's one, another way to do it. Um, I'm going to create a new one. Guys, so we just finished those two little sheet um, pans there. So we're going to move on and we're going to create a... A bracket of some sort right so let's go ahead and um, I've got a new window or a new screen here new task so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create my first sketch and then we'll go from there right so I'm gonna make um, a simple bracket I'm actually gonna do it this way I'm gonna come in uh, front view right I'm actually going to come in here and start here on the center. I'm going to actually go in 2.0 inches. Whoops. Right. 
I'm going to come over 3.75 and then I'm going to come up 3.75 again on this one and we'll call it quits there just going to change my view here so I can see everything now I'll jump back into my sheet metal side here okay and we'll create a part drag a window there it is I'm actually going to flip it Oops, thickness is fine. I'm going to reverse it that way. And I'm probably going to go um, 10 inches. Right. Done. So there's my sheet metal part. Or the start of my sheet metal part. So what I want to do is... I want to come in here and I want to do... Um, another sheet metal part over here we're going to add to this one right so sheet, I'm in sheet metal again I'm going to use the add flange feature select the flange uh, and we'll reverse the side here uh, let's hit 90 degrees on that one whoops and uh, here we go 3.75 we're good there and I'm actually going to add another flange on this one and we're actually going to take this back 1.0 actually let's go 1.25 hit ok right so there's my oh sorry I uh, hit the wrong button. Let's do that again. Right. 1.25. Right click. There we go. So there's my other flange there. And then we will add another flange. And we will come in here. Right. I'm actually going to do 1.0 here and 1.0 here. Actually, let's do that less. 0 0.750. 0 0.750. But okay. And we're done. So there's my sheet metal bracket. Right? So let's go ahead i'm just going to add a radius to this part here and we'll probably just do a come over to the solids and we're going to hit a blend i'll leave it at five eighths i'm going to select that side i'm going to click that guy so we can grab this other side here as well right click done right So, and then I'm going to put a radius on this one here, but it won't be such a big one, right? So, back over here, hit blends, um, 0.125, uh, we'll select that guy, and select that guy, done, right, let's see. And I might just put a small radius on there because usually that'll help with um, the laser. You know, instead of coming to an exact stop on the corner, you can do a little radius there and it gives a nice clean um, runs around the corner. Um, in Radan, of course, it'll actually, you, you don't have to worry about that because you can auto fill it in Radan, all right? So, but since I'm designing it, I'm going to do it anyway. Well, two, five. And we'll select this guy here. Right click. Remember the right click, guys. 
that gets rid of that action right click again it gets rid of that action right so here's our sheet metal part um, now we should be able to unfold our sheet metal if we jump back over here toggle the view and there's our sheet metal part unfolded all there is to do now is to add the holes right so we'll cover that in the next video and we'll use i'll save this because we'll use this as our part as well right so libraries um, whoops all right that's how you use the sketching and sheet metal options and um radian designer and we'll come back and then we'll go over some more stuff in radian designer in the next video thanks for watching have a great day and stay safe